How to stop dog destructive chewing? Once your vet has ruled out health and behavioral issues, there are several things you can try to help curb your dog's destructive chewing. Pet proof your home. The first thing is the parents of a dog who's prone to destructive chewing should do is to remove the temptations laying around their home. Leaving delicious smelling leather shoes within reach of a confirmed chewer just isn't fair. If you're unable to remove chewable items in a certain area of your home, make sure that space is off limits for your pup. Shada suggests using dog gates, like the Midwest Steel Pet Gate, to keep unchecked chewers away from areas that are difficult to dog proof. Dog safe bitter sprays, like Granix Bitter Apple Spray, can be applied to furniture and cabinets to deter problem chewers with their yucky taste. Training How do we fill our dog's day and provide him with the mental stimulation that he lacks to prevent him from becoming bored? Simply we need to give him a job to do, says Dr. Mugford. The easiest way of providing a job is by using our dog's food. Instead of receiving his daily ration for free in a bowl, let's make him work for it. One of the simplest ways to do this, Dr. Mugford says, is to use a Kong toy. Kong toys are uniquely shaped, tough rubber toys with a hollow center which can be stuffed with treats or your dog's dinner, he says. The Kong classic is the king of busy toys, Shada agrees. I suggest it to nearly everyone and it's a hit at the shelter where I volunteer. Kong's classic dog toys come in a variety of sizes and rubber strengths, so they're appropriate for dogs from puppies to seniors. A pet parent struggling with a teething puppy, for instance, can entice their pup with a Kong puppy dog toy, which is uniquely designed for growing baby teeth and provides a soothing outlet that rewards appropriate chewing behavior. Then, as their furry friend grows up, pet parents can swap in larger and or stronger Kong toys as needed. Plus, as mentioned above, pet parents can incentivize their dogs to chew their Kong toys by stuffing them with treats. That's a delicious bonus they won't find inside your shoes. For dogs who like toys with a higher degree of difficulty, Shada says, I love the Kong Genius line because the toys can be connected to make the puzzle more challenging. Other dogs might prefer the Kong Goody Bone. It's a great choice for dogs who give up on activity toys because it has easier access to the treat, Shada says. In cases of extremely stubborn problem chewers, parents can hire a certified professional dog trainer. They can help you set up beneficial rules and routines, including teaching basic commands like leave it and drop it, to help curb dog destructive chewing. Create soothing distractions. In addition to providing appropriate chew toys, driving also suggests leaving the radio or television on for your dog while you're away. These sounds can help break the monotony, like it does for us, and help with separation anxiety. Get physical. If keeping your dog busy and giving them access to appropriate toys help, adding an exercise program can amplify those results. Nearly every dog can use more exercise, so working your dog's brain and body might take the edge off the need to boredom chew. In addition to reducing boredom, exercise provides several other benefits to dogs, from helping with weight loss to promoting relaxation. It also can help deter dog destructive chewing, Bennett says, but you must do more than just let your dog loose in the backyard and expect results. At least two times a day, for 20 minutes a day, someone should physically interact with the dog, Bennett says. Although some dogs get outside time in the yard, if no one is playing with them, they will often find their own activities, which might include chewing something we consider valuable. You don't have to limit the exercise to just walking, either. You can also engage your pup in an interactive game, Shada says. For example, why not play tug-of-war with a Kong goody bone with rope? All dogs chew, but that doesn't mean your possessions have to be constantly at risk. With the right combination of training and toys, your pup can live in harmony with you, and with your stuff.